Today we're digging deeper into the Creality CR10S Pro and specifically the bed and the rollers and the tightness of the rollers. So if you check the bed, you will see there's a little bump or hump that is it's settling in. See? I tightened these screws and I uh, loosened them and I think I have to take it apart to see if there's one of the rollers maybe has a little bite in it or maybe there's something else that I can't discover but so far this is a new investigation I have to do before I can expect anything good to happen out of this printer. See so it, it is like revolving so every full rotation the printer or the bed kind of sags into this thing so it's either the rail or the one of the rollers i want to see if the microphone picks up on this if it picks up on the sound You can see the uh, vibration in the bed where it stops. Okay, that, that should uh, give us something to do with this printer. This Creality CR10S Pro 3D printer that is driving me up the walls. To further illustrate the issue on this bed, I don't like to like move it around. See that? You can feel or you can see the shake in the camera as the bed goes over the bump and transfer the motion to the desk and the camera shakes. And maybe there is a little bit of a sound with, associated with it as well. It doesn't seem to be something on the rail because it repeats its cycles. Probably is one of the rollers. And we can see the roller here doesn't even spin. So maybe is the interior rollers. This may cause some of the layer shifts. But then again, it also may not. So, uh, I mean, this is a further issue to investigate on this Creality printer. And let's see how it fares. So now I flip the printer upside down to see if we can spot any of this bump on the roller itself. Messed up. So that's the one, but I'm not sure if this is the issue. And there's a lot of fuzz on this, on these rollers. It's very difficult to see if there is a bit of a bump here and if it's the interior rollers i can't detect that by just inspecting it visually i have to like take it apart and look at the rollers and i'm, I'm sure that people have uh, met this problem before and perhaps i should just ask for help online and what better way to do it but with the video about this Creality CRS Stand Pro printer, 3D printer, that has been taking over my free time. And it's not cool. All I wanted to do is print some parts when I need them. But now I'm becoming a 3D printer technician. Maybe I should just loosen this side and see if I feel the bump more. Because if I loosen this side, the interior rows, it should get off the rail a little bit. Well, we should initiate a printout of some kind. Maybe um, tighten the beds in such a manner that this roller down here, the opposite of this one, doesn't touch the rail internally. And then check with the uh, XYZ calibration cube. But right now, I can't feel the bump. I can feel the individual motor pulls if I pull just gently enough, but I cannot feel that bump anymore. So it is probably an interior roller. Okay, so we flipped the printer upside down just to check to see if we're still going to feel the bump. And I'm afraid I can't. Maybe I am too moving too fast, but I can't feel the bump. Oh, wait, I felt something right there. There is a little bit of a bump that I feel. Okay, so now I'm moving the bed. And as you can see, the other roller is not spinning. That is not spinning. I wonder if that could be the culprit. But I don't feel that much. Well, I do feel a little bit of a little bit of the bump. Now the logical step was to would be to print something. But I'm not sure if that's possible to have just the right amount of tightness and not have the bump in the rollers. And if that seems to print better than maybe rollers changed or the whole printer, I'm not sure. Okay, now we're doing a bed leveling. My way. Never mind. I forgot to put the harness back in. This one. Right here. Do another bed leveling. Now I 
have some sort of a uniform way of kind of leveling the bed in relationship with the nozzle because that's the most important part for me i'm not sure if other experts out there have a different opinion about this but to me the relationship between the probe and the nozzle is important and then i have to do another leveling to make sure so i have just the slightest of drag in the corner here great i guess in the middle because the bed is warped is very hard so this sucks but if we go on the back yep all right great now go back in the front and i'm doing this because i play with the actual rollers on the rails so that's why i'm doing this so they're kind of stupid so that's the problem right there if we see the bed going down and now so the four corners are all right for now now what i have to do is adjust the probe up top and do another bed leveling so it forget it now we're just gonna print all right so now let's print the printer is heating up and we're gonna be printing a cube and let's see how that cube comes out it's gonna be a pain so clearly whatever attempt I had at fixing this it did not work the print bed or whatever the problem is still persists and if you look at the X face it might be a little better than the actual Y face here maybe we're on to something but it's still a terrible print I lowered the speed to like 85% so I was printing about 15 millimeters 50 millimeters per second and I lowered it by 15% from the printer and the quality is just not there and I don't even have to shine a light so this is not fixing it I do want to say that I took the bed apart and I found a little notch on the rail on the inside which is right here by on the upper portion by the actual screw that goes in and holds the rail to the base and there's a notch and when the wheels on the interior go they uh, create a little small vibration into the bed. I am trying to kind of keep these wheels, the interior wheels, to keep them off the interior rail. And right now I'm playing with the bed and there's, I can't feel any bumps in the road as the dolly is traveling. So I'm not sure if this is going to fix the ringing problem I'm experiencing. But I took it apart because I wanted to be convinced that it's not me and it is the printer. Although... It may still be me and not the printer, but I've been taking it apart bit by bit and, and I've been putting it back together to see if I can tune it or optimize a bit more every time. But I'm not sure if this has a problem. The only way to test would be to print something in front of the bed right here. But I already was doing that. As long as these two wheels do not pass over the bump, then we should be good, theoretically. And since I was uh, working on the rails, unknowingly, I took the bottom uh, out of the printer. So when in Rome, why not just, you know, look inside? And I have a bunch of upgrades for this printer, but I just do not want to put them in until I figure out what is going on with this printer. I can't put these upgrades in because I have to return the printer. I have not found anything that I can use to actually make the printer print properly. So I will have to return it. And I've been in contact with tech support and I think they're giving me a bit of a round around because they, they're fresh out of ideas. What can I do? And I've been doing this in my own time along with the suggestions they had for me and I still do not have good results. So I have to return it and it's a shame. Uh, I'm actually probably will have to return these fans and stuff as well. And they're gonna charge me some sort of a restocking discount. Thank you for tuning in on whatever this Creality CR10S Pro 3D printer wants to be, but you know, it's not working as it should and I'm dissatisfied. Thanks.